Welcome you to New Beginning Church of the Big Ben. Amen. And uh, if you don't have a home church, we want to invite you to come and be with us. Amen. And it's a church where you can call home. Amen. And where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia no comienzo. Again, we want to welcome all of our church family. We want to welcome all those of you that are, are watching uh, uh, or listening. Amen. So we want to welcome you. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Amen. Don't let him go. Just hang on. You know, he's there for you. And we're going to be talking about today about choosing Jesus daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have a choice. Amen. And uh, you you need to make that, that, that choice. Nobody can do it for you. And he's still not going to violate your will. You know, if your will is not to, then he's not going to go against you. You know, prodigal sin chose, chose to run and go. You know, uh, others decided to go, you know, but... We need to make the right attitude. We need to make the right choices. Amen. We need to choose him and serve him on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Before uh, before we get going too far too far here, uh, well, let's go ahead and make this declaration together. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Grab your Bibles yeah. and say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Right. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't look back. Amen. Like Lot's wife. We're going to be talking about Lot's wife. She chose to look back. Don't look back. He says, press on. He says, I want you to leave. I'm going to deal with Sodom and Gomorrah and leave. But don't look back. Don't look Amen. So when you spend your, your time with him on a daily basis, he gives you instruction. Just go be obedient. Listen, hear, be obedient to what he tells us to do. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. I'm excited already. Amen. Let me read you this nugget before we continue. It goes like this. Both of you watching, those of you listening. <laughs> Listen to this. And church family here. Whenever you feel... <laughs> Whenever you feel unloved, unimportant, insecure, unconfident, doubtful, anxious, <laughs> remember whose you are. Remember who you are and who's there for you. Amen. So basically, choose Jesus on a daily basis. That's what we're going to talk about. Amen. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. But, you know, we all go through these things. But we know that we can have him. Amen. He's got us. He's, you know, we, we, we need to be there and uh, choose Jesus on a daily basis. Woo, hallelujah. I'm yeah. excited already. So, yeah. hallelujah. Let's talk about it. Last week we talked about giving it all to Jesus. Give it all. Surrender it all to him. And today we're going to be talking about choosing him. Choosing Jesus daily. There you go. Choose him. You have a choice to make. Nobody can do it for you. You choose. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. A new change. A new beginning. A new way of life. Choose Jesus who is there for us always. Amen. Hebrews 13, 5 and 5b and, and 6 says this. says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. We need to know the word. Remember is that the word is this truth. And yes. this truth is going to set us free. And we're going to be talking about mindsets, traditions, religion. Amen. These things. We're setting our ways. It's always been this way. And we can't go against that. Well, that's not what the Word of God talks about. If the Word of God says different, then you go with what the Word of God says. Amen. So yes. praise God. It says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Okay. So I choose Jesus. Amen. You're going to hear that word a lot. Amen. You choose Jesus. You know, when you be that example and you be the uh, representative. Amen. Yeah. We're talking about 2 Corinthians 5 17. You be that ambassador. You be that representative of ministering people, uh, reconciling people back to Christ. Yeah. And they're going to see you as the example. They're going to see you and you're going to be a new person. They're going to try to drag you back. But don't look back. Amen. We were just talking about it. Don't go back. Don't look back. Press on. You're a new person, a new creature in Christ. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Don't choose distractions and things that hold us or destroy us. Amen. John 10 10 says what? It says the thief, his mission is this the thief come except, not come except to steal, kill, and to destroy. Amen. That's his mission. We already know. 
We all have the same enemy. His name is uh, mm -hmm. Devil. Uh -huh. It says the thief. Satan. Amen. But that's Satan. That's the devil. The diablo, whatever you want to call him. But it's not your neighbor. It's not a person. That's it. Amen. And we, we fight against them faster than we do against the enemy because you know it's the enemy that's trying to come in against you. Uh -huh. But it says the thief come does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And destroy. We know his mission now. Yeah. We've identified him so uh -huh. we can come against him. Amen. And we have all the tools we need, okay, to come against him and put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Because we're going to be fighting spiritual battle. Yeah. And you don't fight a spiritual battle in the flesh. You no. need the word of God. Amen. So you yeah. need to have that armor on. Amen. Amen. And here's Jesus', Jesus mission. Jesus says, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So we got to be on the right side. We yeah. got to be on, on his side. The winning side. Yes. Amen. He didn't put you here to be a loser. He put That's you here it. to be a winner. He put Amen. you here to be a champion. He put you here to be a warrior for him. Mm -hmm. Not a warrior. <laughs> Amen. And not a loser. That's you it. see yourself that way. You need to get in the word and change yeah. your way you're thinking. That's it. Amen. Because <laughs> you can't be going around thinking that way. I'm not defeated, you know. Mm. And if you're a Christian, then you need to be studying, getting the word in you so you can start speaking the word. Uh -huh. Amen. And sharing the word yeah. and reconciling people back to Christ. Amen. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will be around and listen to. Yeah. And you know where you go, I can't go. But you can't go where I go. Mm. But we all come and we're all the good news going somewhere to happen for somebody. See yourself that way. So he put you here to, to succeed. He put you here to win. He didn't put you here to just sit and be comfy. We're going to talk about that also. <laughs> The Amplified says this, the thief comes only in order to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He says, I came that they might have and enjoy life. That's it. Amen. To have and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Not just be sad, not just be doom and gloom, you know, but he said, and the Amplified says, I came that they might have life and enjoy, mm -hmm. and that they may have it more, more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Amen. He just don't want us to just barely slide and by. He it. wants you to have it abundantly, you know. Yeah. You may not be the rich, richest person, but I'm rich in Christ. Yeah. I'm rich in, in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because He's my supplier. He's my provider. He's my rocker. He's my healer. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's my everything. Yes. Amen. And He's going to meet all my needs, the Bible says, right. according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. John 3.16 says, what well, also, <laughs> we're to choose Him. Choose Choose Jesus, Amen. Mm -hmm. John three sixteen uh, and the uh, King James says, "Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me." Mm -hmm. Amen. It says, "But by me." Yeah. That means you got to choose Him. You have a choice. You either choose Him, or you're in the wrong way. You're on the wrong mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. So we need to make that. We need to choose. That means we have to confess it as our Lord and Savior. Amen. If you haven't, it's time. You mm -hmm. put it off long enough. Amen. The easy to read Bible says this. It says, or excuse me, easy to read version says, Jesus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him mm -hmm. would not be lost but have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Still choose Jesus. Yes. Amen. You're going to hear that a lot so you better get on, get on, get on it. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's John three sixteen. Amen. So we will receive him. In the amplified uh, John fourteen six six says this says Jesus said unto him, I am the only way mm -hmm. and the way is a capital, okay? To God. And the real truth, capital T, and the real life, capital L, no one comes to the Father but through me. Mm -hmm. There's no other way there, okay? Mm -hmm. Your good looks, uh, your finances, uh, no one else mm -hmm. is going to get you there except through Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what you've been reading or what you've been hearing, but the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. So you have to receive Him some, somewhere, you're going to have an encounter. 
And now's the time. You know, this year, today is the day. Don't put it off any longer. Now's the time. Amen. All you have to do is just receive and ask him, come in my, my life and be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. And he will. Amen. Yeah. So we've been there. Prodigal sons and daughters for too long. It's time to come home. <laughs> it's time to come home. Amen. Before he comes back. <laughs> Amen. So let's re let's remember this. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 30 and verse uh, 19 and 20. I'm going to read it to you from the NIV. I think it's up here also. Thank you, Carmen. Just keep going. It's, it's there. It says, This day I'll call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death. Blessings and curses. Mm. He's helping us. He says, now choose life. Amen. Mm -hmm. You want to choose life. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that you can, so that you and your children may live. Mm -hmm. And that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to his, to him. For the Lord is your life. Mm -hmm. And he will give you many yes. years. Amen. So if I want, if I choose this, I'm choosing him. I'm choosing Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, this is good. It tells us what to do. Choose yes. life. Good or bad. What do you yes. choose? Choose good. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, uh, blessings or curses. What do you want? Mm -hmm. I want the blessings. He wants to bless you. Mm -hmm. We just got to get right with him. Amen. Amen. Too many things, too many distractions holding us from our blessings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're just getting by, you know. Well, you know, we just want to stay uh baby Christians all our lives. We can't do that. We got to grow. We got to mature in the things of God. You know, as you grow and mature, the blessings get bigger and bigger all the time. Yeah. John 15, 16 says, you cannot, says you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Man, this is good. Amen. But we're not letting him in. Amen. And I have appointed and placed and purposely planted you so that you would go and bear fruit and keep on bearing that your fruit will remain and be lasting so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he, uh, in my name as your representative, he will give it to you. Choose Jesus. It's very, very wise, very wise thing. Amen. And the easy to read version says, you didn't choose me, I chose you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He came on a mission. Amen. He chose us. We need to choose him back. Amen. And surrender ourselves totally to him. And I gave you this work to go and produce fruit. Fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. Amen. He's not holding us back. We're holding ourselves back. We're going around saying the wrong things. Confessing the wrong things. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. So speak positive, not negative. Yeah. Speak faith-filled words. Amen. Speak the word. When you speak the word, you know, those blessings are there for you. Yes. Amen. And you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. That's very important that you understand. Well, I just I just blew out some words. Well, they were negative and the enemy's listening. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's gonna come and we open the door for him to just walk on in. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't we can't continue to do those things. And you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. But he's not blessing me. Mm -hmm. Because you keep Stopping those blessings mm -hmm. by what you're saying. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's good. Preach on, yeah. Pastor. <laughs> Joshua 24, uh, 15 says, says, but as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Yes. We choose God. We choose yes. to serve God. You need to choose Jesus and serve him well. Amen. Amen. He didn't put you here just to be lazy and comfy. Um, there's a place we're going to be talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> we just want to be comfy mm. and be idle and do nothing he says <laughs> he says he said you could be hot or cold or new oh. but not lukewarm that means just being lazy and being idle and doing nothing mm -hmm. i'm not going to go either way you know well i'm not for that person i'm not for this i'm not for that but still you have to make a choice right or wrong yeah. amen and we can't blame the lord <laughs> thank you Carly. go to the next one All right. Yeah, Joshua twenty four fifteen says, "Choose you this day whom this is each and every day. Choose you this day whom you will serve." Yeah. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. But as for me and my house, we choose Jesus, mm -hmm. and we're going to serve Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. What stops us from completely 
giving ourselves to, to Him, to Jesus. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Total surrender, uh, total surrender, totally, totally submitted, completely, as Jesus gave Himself totally to the Father. Mm -hmm. Amen. He came. He fulfilled His mission. Yes, He did. He accomplished His mission. Yes. And when He went before He gave Himself back to the Father, He says. <laughs> Father, forgive them. Aren't you glad you said that? Yes. Amen. Amen. So, you know, even the robber right next to him, you know, one of them was mocking him. The other one said, I recognize you as Jesus, you know, as the Lord of God. This is me. I, I recognize you. He says, mm -hmm. today you'll be with me in paradise. Yeah. He didn't have to go through uh, 10 weeks of, uh, uh, <laughs> by, uh, what do you, Initiation, you know, membership. membership training, you know, or you didn't have to go through sitting for so many, whatever you have to go through. It's not scriptural. Is it scriptural? No. You know, he right then, you know, Jesus said, well, you can't do it. It's too late for you now. No. He says, today, today, right now. Yes. You will be with me in paradise. Amen. So, whoo, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But give totally, he gave himself totally to the Father. Our greatest example, we need to give ourselves back to him. Yes. Amen. I'm born again. I'm going to start choosing Jesus every day yes. and Amen. serving Jesus on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. So listen to this. What do we have to give? Your possessions? Mm -hmm. What do we have? Possessions, belongings, good, wealth, popularity, approval, acceptance, fame, reputation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh. Fear, anxieties, worries. This is things that keep us away. Mm -hmm. Fears, anxieties, uh, distress, fright, panic. Amen. And procrastination, stalling, <laughs> delays, <laughs> postponing, putting off. We're real good about this. Oh, you know, tomorrow's another day. You know, it's not today, so uh, tomorrow's <laughs> another day. <laughs> so we stall, we stall, we stall all the time. We we'll keep putting off and off all the time. Well, you know, one of these days, one of these days, when I'm ready, I'll receive Jesus. Well, in one of these days, you may be gone and it's too late. Yeah. yeah. Can't put it off any longer. you end up in the wrong place. <laughs> Jesus is willing to change you, but you, he won't violate your will. You must be willing. You must choose Jesus and commit yourself and surrender yourself totally to him. Yes. And be obedient to what he tells us to do amen mark 10 uh, 17 through 7 uh, excuse me mark 10 17 17 through 27 talks about a rich young ruler you know he came to jesus what must i do you know to, to be with you yeah and he says well you got to do this this is and this you can go read it mark 10 17 through 27 mm. the rich young ruler refuses to follow jesus Hmm. Because then he says to sell these things mm -hmm. and give to the poor. Yeah. And he said, No, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. So he walked away. He walked away from Jesus. Mm -hmm. he didn't tell him to give it all. He Amen. Said sell. Yeah, see, he yeah. says, Sell, you know, sell, sell. But still, he was not willing to give up his wealth, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> he even says, You know, it'd be hard for a rich man to go into mm -hmm. the kingdom of God. He said, Be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle mm -hmm. than for a rich person to come into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Refuse to change. Choosing to walk away from eternal life. Mm. Had it all, but did not choose Jesus. So don't you walk away. Amen. We need him. Yes. With him we get everything. Yes. Without yes. him we have nothing. Nothing. Except hell. <laughs> mm. And it's already hell here. Mm. If this is hell, you know, hey, this is the closest thing to hell I'm going to be because... I'm going to go with him. Amen. <laughs> so be on the winning side. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Acts 26 and uh, 26 and 8, uh, 28 says that King Agrippa told Paul. He says, he says, Paul, mm -hmm. almost thou persuaded me to be almost. a Christian. That's it. You've been around a lot of family. You've been around a lot of Christians. Or, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people. Mm. And you know what? They got attitudes. And oh, they ain't going to change for you. Mm -hmm. But you know, still keep them in your prayers. Amen. Because mm -hmm. hey, hey, ain't no way. You know, you almost persuaded me, you know. But mm -hmm. I ain't going to make that. I ain't going to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's not be almost. You That's know? It. <laughs> almost. Yeah. It's not good enough. It says you have to confess with your mouth mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus. Amen. Believe in your heart. 
Mm. You have to confess with your mouth. I can't do it for you. I can't say it for you. Mom, dad, whoever can't say it for you. Amen. You have to confess it for yourself. Amen. Amen. Luke 15, uh, 11 through 32 talks about the prodigal son. Prodigal son, I said, he just refused Jesus. He refused to follow. He said, give me what's mine and I'm, I'm gone. I'm out of here. That's what a lot of us have done. We just forgot about Jesus, you know, and just walked away. Finally, he saw himself in a bind, you know. He wanted to spend all that he had to spend. Now, he's watching. He's he, he's out with pigs, you know, hanging out with the pigs. I said, man, I could eat better at my father's house. I could do better at father's house. All of a sudden, it came to him. I, I need to get back. Some of you listening, yeah. some of you watching. It's yeah. time to get back to father's house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come home. He's not going to reject you. Whoever told you this, it's not scriptural. It's time to come back to Father. Amen. And say it. <laughs> Lord, I need you. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. That's how easy it is. But you have to confess it with your mouth. Amen. You got to let go and let God. Yes. Amen. You got to post this on somewhere where you can see it on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. You know, before you walk out and go into some good go somewhere, submit yourself to Him. Yes. You know. And, and say this, I'm letting go and I'm letting you go. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is the best way because uh, we got, a lot of us, we got to step off the throne. Oh, boy. Get off the throne oh, of your life and let God take over the throne of your life. Amen. <laughs> Choose to change and give back to God, which is already his. You yeah. are his. He bought you with a price. Yeah, yeah. He paid the price and he yeah. bought you back. All we need to realize is so we can let him and confess him as Lord and Savior and start walking and doing what he's called us to do. Amen. Each one of us has a mission. Each one of us, he's called us to do something. So when you have a relationship, you find out from the Father what he wants you to do and start doing it. Reconciling people back to him. Whatever he's gifted you, whatever he's called. But we need to start doing it. We just can't sit back and say, well, you know, brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so, they, they're they really holy, you know, and they're, they're doing it. Mm. But I don't have to do anything. I can't do anything. Mm. Well, you're putting yourself out. Amen. You're confessing the wrong things. We must turn loose of the excuse and things that hold us back. The distractions, amen, keep us from achieving and receiving all that God has for us. Keeps us from receiving and enjoying all God has for us. Mm -hmm. We are stopping it. Amen. We need to stop this. Get up. <laughs> Jesus paid the price. This is what he paid. He paid the price. He's given us salvation. Salvation is free. All you need to do is confess him as Lord and Savior. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to go through uh, 10 weeks of, uh, of uh, what is it, initiation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, he's given us heaven and he's given us blessings. But we need to choose the wise things. We need to choose him. Choose Jesus. Amen. Get off your Komosiyama and get give up all distractions. Give up your comfy place. Give up all the excuses. Stop procrastinating. Stop the fears. No. And step out in faith. Yeah. Step out in faith and get to serving Him. And then listen to this. Be a participator. What's a participator? I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. Participator. We're committed. We're submitted. We're available. We're competitors. We're participants. We partake. And we're team players. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're united. And we're working together. Amen. Mm -hmm. Together. Together. We're participating. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not left out. You're part of us. So let's get busy for Jesus. Amen. Let's get let's choose Jesus and get busy for Jesus. Amen. Whew. But not the spectator. <laughs> a lot of us, well, I'm not gonna say who, but spectators, listen to what a spectator is. Mm -hmm. He's an outsider. He's a watcher. Mm -hmm. He's an observer. He's looking. He's judging. He's critique. He's no, a critic. He's a critic. Yeah. And he's criticizing. Mm -hmm. And he's a fault finder. Oh boy. And he's an opponent. Mm. Amen. So we gotta be careful not to do this. You know, I can do better than that. You know, I can preach better than pastor. I can be preach better than sister so and so. Is that right? How come you're still sitting? <laughs> if God calls you to preach, how come you're still sitting? You know, why are you not sitting over there praying for whoever is up here speaking? Mm -hmm. Lord bless him. I know the enemy's busy trying to come against him, you know, and they're not saying the right things or not coming out right or whatever mm -hmm. the situation may be. Pray for them. 
Amen. So let's not be fault finders, you know, because hey, I could do it better than that, you mm -hmm. know. <laughs> let's let's not let's not do that. And let's not criticize. Let's not judge. Amen. Amen. We're not called to do those things. Yes, We're yes. called to be ministers of reconciliation, mm -hmm. bringing people to Christ. Yes. You're the closest thing to a uh, Christ Jesus example on earth. People are seeing you're a Christian and you're doing this, you're saying this. I can't believe this, you know. And you want me to accept Christ? No. So let's be careful. Be a participator and not a spectator. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, man, you still up, Pastor? <laughs> <laughs> no rocks. Let me see your hands. Man. No rocks. <laughs> Faith, listen to this. Faith requires trust. Faith requires to step out of your boat. Amen? Yeah. On a daily basis. Daily for Jesus. Fear requires comfy, cozy, snug, relaxed, lazy, and just be idle. Now that is fear. Amen? <laughs> so, listen, I, I wrote this so I could read it to you, but Matthew 14, verse 25 through 31 says this in the NIV. Shortly before dawn, Jesus says, you know, he told the disciples, I'm going for a walk. Well, he didn't tell him he's going to go walk on the lake. He didn't tell him he's going to go walk on the water. But anyway, Jesus went out to them. He was walking on the lake. That's what the NIV says. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. Wow, it's a ghost. <laughs> it's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage in his eye. Don't be afraid. Lord, here's Peter. You know, Peter is, uh, he's, he's kind of, uh, uh, what does it say, uh, a little headstrong. And sometimes he got himself in trouble for, for being that way. But Peter says, Lord, is that you? And he says, Peter replied, Tell me to come to you on the water. And all Jesus says was, come. <laughs> he said, come. Then Peter got out of the boat and he walked on the water and he came to Jesus. But when he saw the winds, he was afraid and he began to sing. And he cried out, Lord, save me. Verse 31 says, immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. He says, you of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? Amen. We don't have to doubt. This word says it. We believe it and obey it. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I just gave gave it a little thing about Peter and knowing he's a little bit on the on the uh, headstrong, you know. And some of these, uh, he he got in trouble quite a few times with that, you know. <laughs> so let go of all excuses that are holding you back. Who's holding you back? It's not him. It's not Jesus. We hold ourselves back a lot of times by our words and our actions. So we have to be careful. And we're, we're, we're looking at him and saying, why is this not happening? Amen. Sometimes we just rush to him and dump on him, you know, uh, a prayer, a quick prayer. And we want it answered ASAP mm -hmm. as soon as possible, like now. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's on his timing. Amen. Remember. Uh, Philippians 4.13 says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. And John, uh, 1 John 4.4 4 says that he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Wow. That is in you. Goes the whole, the whole uh, verse goes like this. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is with you. He come to live with you. Your your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Everyone gets a chance for a new start, a new beginning. Second Corinthians five seventeen says this in the uh, New Living Translation. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. This is what the Word of God says. But the enemy, the devil, is the accuser mm -hmm. of the brethren or people. People, people, people. He's going to use people also. And people are going to say, you know, you're not born again. Mm -hmm. And they're going to talk about you. 
Mm. But you got to stand your ground. Yes. I know I've confessed Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to make a change. And I'm going to receive this change and I'm going to mm -hmm. serve Him. I choose Jesus and I'm going to serve Him totally. Yeah. Amen. Regardless of what the enemy says, regardless of what people are saying. Yes. I'm going to press on. It says right there, it says, this means that anyone who belongs to, to, to Christ has become a new person. I'm a new person. You look the same, but I had a spiritual birth on the inside. Amen. I'm born again on the inside. I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. The old life, listen, says the old life is gone. Jesus says forgiven and forgotten. People won't. No. And the enemy won't. Mm -hmm. And he's going to bring it to you. And the battlefield is going on in the yes, mind. Yes. And you're thinking it all the time. Mm -hmm. And people are going to remind you all the time. Oh, boy. Amen. So, hey, if Jesus can forgive and forget, so can you. Mm -hmm. Say, wait a minute. I am forgiven. It's forgotten. So I'm going to step out. Mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start serving him i'm choosing him i'm going to serve him mm -hmm. and i'm going to press on and do what he's called yeah. me to do you, whatever your mission is you know reconciling mm -hmm. people or whatever amen he he made us well i'll just leave it there mm -hmm. the old life is gone the new life has begun your is your choice you choose get the old stuff behind you and press on with yeah. the new amen so choose jesus listen to this <laughs> confessing and living you can confess it and live, or you can die and cry. <laughs> but the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Amen? I mean, that's very simple. Confess him, choose him, and live, or you can die and you fry. He didn't send you there. You sent yourself there. All right, now. Amen? There's a, there's a heaven and a hell. You have to make a choice. He's not sending you there. God crucified or sacrificed his son for you to go to heaven. But you have to confess him as your Lord and Savior. Mm. Have you? If you haven't, it's time. Why you keep? Why are you still putting it off? Mm -hmm. I'd rather go up than go down. Mm. But if you go down, it's not his fault. He sacrificed his only son for you to go up. Mm. And you chose to go down. That's your choice. He, not, he won't violate your will. Mm -hmm. You have to... It's time that you confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And start, go yeah. up with us. <laughs> Amen. He made heaven is big enough for all of us, okay? Yes, it is. It's not limited to just a, a few uh, chosen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, us, God. Us. I want to encourage you. There is hope in him, Jesus. So don't accept, says that some don't accept change or new beginnings well at all we are so set in our ways oh you have every try to work mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me <laughs> have you ever tried to work with concrete that's already set no, as hard as dry as, as hard <laughs> and, and you can't you can't you can't go back and redo it <laughs> you you gotta mix some more oh, because when concrete is set, it's set. It's set. And some of us are this way. Yeah. Amen. Our ways are set. Mm. No person, not even Jesus, mm. can change that. Yes. Okay? We got religion. We got mm. our traditions. We have mindsets. Mm. This is the way it's always been, and we're not going to change it. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the Word of God says. Mm. Amen. We can't be this way. Amen. If the Word of God says it's different, then it's time to change. It's and it's time to be obedient and obey what the Word of God tells us. Yes, yes. yes. Amen? Regardless of whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm thinking it, but I'm not going. <laughs> Our set ways of life are already set and hard to work with. Mm -hmm. And I just said a few minutes ago, religion, mm -hmm. our mindsets, and our traditions, mm -hmm. it's always been this way. Yeah. We are the body of Christ, the church. There are not going to be denominations in heaven. He didn't call denominations, okay? He called the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ working together in unity. All right. All right. So I'm not going to just, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. 
Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You don't want anyone or anything to mess up our plans. No. We don't want anything to mess us up. Okay? Mm. We don't want to mess our, our, our set ways, our mindsets, our tradition, mm. our easy patterns, mm. our comfy zones, and our lazy ways. Mm. Amen? <laughs> I guarantee you, Jesus was not lazy when he no, was he here. Was. He was busy. Mm -hmm. He was doing it. When he wasn't doing, he was praying. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's our greatest example. I'll say that again because you really need to get this. <laughs> you need this. <laughs> you don't want anyone or anything to mess up our set ways. Mm -hmm. It's going to be this way. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. changing that. Okay, you can't mm -hmm. sit over there because that's where I sit. <laughs> that's just the song so I was telling. You can't sit there. <laughs> our mindsets, our traditions, mm -hmm. it's always been this way. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go against that. I don't care what Jesus, I mean the Word of God says. <laughs> our easy ways has always been like this, okay? So, hey, you don't mess with Brother so and so's ways of mm. easy ways or our comfy zones. We all have little comfy ways, we mm. have lazy ways. <laughs> hey, Pop Jesus. is home, so everything stops. We are so very comfy, relaxing, doing our thing at home, at work, our time off, in any time. It's going to be like this. Amen. Mm. And all of a sudden, the word of God messes your plans up, mm -hmm. and I say, uh -uh, that ain't gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We are so set in our ways, just like the concrete. Mm -hmm. But the potter can help us, and we need the potter. Isaiah 64, mm -hmm. 8 and 9 in the easy to read version says, But Lord, you are our father. We are like clay, mm -hmm. and you are the potter. Mm -hmm. Your hands made us. Mm -hmm. If he made us and he created us and he put us here, you weren't born by accident. That's it. God knows you mm -hmm. by name. He knew you before you knew yourself. Mm -hmm. And he knows you're here. Mm -hmm. So it's time that you get to know your Heavenly Father and pray and get before him and say, Lord, I'm here. Tell me what I must do. Amen. And start doing that. Amen. Just don't be lazy about it. Verse 9 says, Lord, don't continue to be angry with us. Don't remember our sins forever. Please look at us. We are your people. And John 3, 16 told us a few minutes ago, he says that John 3, 16 says, for, for God so loved the world, for God so loved his people, that he sacrificed his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah, we're his people. We're his people. Aren't you glad that when Jesus at the cross says father forgive him and the father forgave us we were adopted into god's family we're supposed to be gentiles now we're members of god's family amen when you receive him as your lord and savior okay. amen so we to remodel reshape change me lord a new start a new beginning it's okay i don't care what age you are amen you can Receive Christ as a child. You can receive Christ at, at, your, at your deathbed. Mm -hmm. The robber received Jesus mm -hmm. at the cross. Amen. So there's always room. And Father will not turn you away. Mm -hmm. He received the prodigal son. He said he saw the, the son coming. The son was walking. He said, I'll go back to Father's house. Mm -hmm. He knows you. And he knows that you're coming back. Mm -hmm. And he's going to receive you. He's but dead. you have to say, Father... I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And he says, good. Welcome back home, son. Welcome back, daughter. I don't care what the, what you've done. I don't care what the world says. Mm -hmm. You're back home. And your old life is gone. Mm -hmm. Your new life starts right now. Yeah. And start getting busy for him. Get busy for him. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And this is what uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 16 and 17, uh, 16 through 20 says. New Living Translation. So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. Mm -hmm. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. Mm -hmm. 
This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Yes. You're a new person. Remember this. Yeah. Don't let the enemy and don't let no person talk you out of it. When you've accepted Christ, you're a new creature in Christ. Whether you feel it or not, just know in your spirit and know what the Word of God says. Because there's sometimes that's all you have to go by. It's not just about feelings. Okay? You may not feel saved, but you're saved. You've confessed Him as Lord and Savior. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a, a new person. Changed. Okay, you, you're changed. The old life is gone, the new life has begun. 18. And all of this is a gift from God who brought, who brought you, who brought us back to Himself through Amen. Christ. Through Christ. Amen. And God has given us this task of reconciling, reuniting people to Him. Amen. Amen. When we leave these four walls, we go to different places. Mm -hmm. And God can use you wherever you are, wherever you live. I mean, all over this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can't go where you are and you can't go where I go, but we can all mm -hmm. go in these places and reconcile people Amen. back to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what he told us. So I'm, we're going to do it, you know. But you, you have to do it. you got to speak out and go. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. No longer content, uh, counting people's sin against them. Mm -hmm. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Yes. Verse 20 says, So we are Christ's ambassadors. Yes. God is making his appeal through mm -hmm. us. We're his mouthpiece on earth. Mm -hmm. He's the head, we're the body. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use his body. If nobody ever told you, you'll hear it again. You're in the church. Mm -hmm. It's not this building. Mm -hmm. We assemble ourselves in this building. Yeah. But you are the church. You're the body of Christ going somewhere to happen for somebody. Isn't it great? Yeah. And sharing yeah. the good news, the gospel, the good news of God. Amen. Amen. Um, praise God. Yeah. We're not going to finish all this. It's okay. <laughs> we'll continue next week. But... We're his ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. And you can personalize that and put your name there. Through you. Whatever your name is. Through Ho Jose. Whatever your name is. Scratch that and personalize it. Put your name there. Amen. He's using me. Regardless of what others say or think. You're not good enough. He thinks you're good enough. He put you here. And now... Get busy for it. Amen. Amen. We speak for Christ when we appeal. Come back to God. Choose Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In Him we have a new change. We have new new change. We have a new beginning. We are His creatures in Christ. We have a new way of life. We are His ministers of reconciliation. We're His ambassadors. His mouthpiece here on earth. Amen. Forgetting the past and pressing on with a new change, yes. a new life, a new beginning. Amen. Amen. You know, the enemy is going to, and people are just going to pound these things on you till you feel like you're not worthy. Like you're a nobody. And we read it a few minutes ago. When you feel, whenever <coughs> you feel unloved, mm. unimportant, insecure, unconfident, doubtful, anxious, mm. just remember who you are. Yes. Amen. And Jesus paid the price for us yeah. to have salvation so we can start going for Him and doing it. says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We've all messed up once in a while. Maybe twice. <laughs> we say things that later regret. We want to take back. We do things we wish we could undo. We miss opportunities we wish we had back. Mm -hmm. Amen. We miss, we make mistakes in life but which we hadn't. We hurt people we love and you disappoint people. Amen. All this is forgotten. All you need to do is receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. We're going to stop right there and know that you can come back to him. Amen. That's that scripture. Amen. Somebody tells you that uh, that um, you can't come back to Christ because of what you did. You sinned and all these things. That's not scriptural. If you confess Him as your Lord and Savior, Amen, you'll be a child of God. And He's going to forgive and forget 
in you. The old is old life is gone, the new life starts today. Amen. Amen. Some of you are watching, some of you are listening. It's time. This is your time. This is your opportunity. Amen. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And He will. Amen. But you have to confess it. And then now, yeah. start living for Him. Find your Bible based church where you can learn the Word and then teach the Word so that you can know where to go, what to do. Amen. And know that you're a child of God. Your past is gone. And don't let Satan, don't let a people hold it against you. If Jesus is forgotten and forgiven, so can you. Amen. But you got to stop that uh, battlefield of the mind. It's going to be there. You say, wait a minute. I'm forgiven. And that's forgotten. I'm a new creature in Christ. I've got a new life. And you know, I'm going to press out. I'm going to press out for, for Jesus today. I'm, I choose Jesus daily. And I'm going to do for him daily. Amen. I'm going to... Uh, be obedient to his word. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Thank you, Jesus. If uh, if you have sickness in your body, you know, he didn't make us to have all these malfunctions happening in our body. Amen. He says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. So if you have sickness on you, I usually just put my hand on myself and say, speak the word of God and say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. So body line up with the word of God. Receive. I receive my healing now Amen. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Then by Jesus Christ, I am healed. No malfunctions. You created me, and everything in me operates the way you created it to function. Mm -hmm. So, body, you line up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo, time to give. If you're watching, listening, it's time to give. You're tired. Your offerings, you can still do so. Go to our website. Yeah. It should be on the screen. Just hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, now, cash in, we can do uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. God loves you, and we love you. And remember, each and every day, choose Jesus daily. Amen. Praise God.